Ooh, coming soon. Buy it when it comes out. I saw Shang-Chi yesterday. That was fun. I'd say it's a win for Asian people like me everywhere. That has nothing to do with the video. I just needed a palate cleanser before I get into the meat. Hi again, guys, and I am misleading you. It's almost a certainty that the title and thumbnail of this video is very harsh to a very particular, marginalized, and oppressed group of people, Dream Stance. And because of that, you should know by now it's kind of my job to lie to your face and get away with it. First off, you guys know who Dream and his stands are, right? I've made videos talking about both of them already, so if you haven't heard, it's kind of your fault for not being a more dedicated quite viewer. I know that school is starting up again, but your grades and your future, come second to your allegiance to this channel, okay? Regardless, I found something a while ago that I feel like warrants me bringing them up again, namely my paycheck this month, but also something other than money for once. It is a dream-related thing that I have been weirdly fixated on for a while, and I just want to share it with you guys. That is, after I tell you that half of you watching aren't subscribed like a bunch of suckers, and that you should subscribe with notifications on if you don't want to end up in a morgue missing more than one of your limbs. The thing I've been reading too much of recently is My Hero Academia fanfiction, and the Dream SMP fandom wiki. I don't know which one of those two is more embarrassing to say out loud. If you don't know what a fandom wiki is, it's basically the detailed fan-made resource for everything involving a particular fandom. And the Dream SMP has some of the most detailed college scholar level writing I have ever seen for this shit. Not even the SpongeBob wiki, which I looked at a while ago, reaches levels of detail that these archivists have been hitting. Now wait a second, I did say the thumbnail is something dramatic, like someone coming out as either dream gender or dream sexual. And don't think I'm leaving that shit just hanging in the air because I don't think I could get away with that if I tried. Don't get me wrong, that stuff is weird. I think that's undeniable, but I really believe it was started by some people as a joke because you can't lie, it's really fucking funny. And then some people saw it and didn't realize it was a joke, and maybe they got signal boosted because of how hard it is to not laugh at. So I'll say this, most of the already really small group of people and the even smaller group of people saying it unironically are probably really young. And beyond that, they haven't had an actual day of in-person school in almost two fucking years, so I'll cut them some slack. Just for now, though, I'm keeping my eye on you schmucks. Back on track, I said that the information on the wiki is extensive, and one thing that'll get confusing with it is differing between multiple versions of the same person. Uh, let me give you an example. The Dream SMP, the server that the events of the Dream SMP take place on, has a wiki page dedicated to it. Not to be confused with the Dream SMP, the faction that exists on the Dream SMP server as one of the nations vying for power over the lands. Not to be confused with Dream SMP and parentheses, the founder of the Dream SMP and the server's main antagonist. Not to be confused with Dream, the YouTuber who plays the SMP character Dream and is the owner of the Dream SMP server, essentially serving as its god. Not to be confused with Dream XD, the in-universe protector of the server and the only known character with access to creative mode, essentially serving as its god. I could go on with Dream XD actually being Dream Second Channel or the Mexican Dream variant played by YouTuber Quackity. Not to be confused with the character Quackity, but I feel like I've made my point several times over. There's a lot here. The amount of versions of the same person you have to compartmentalize in your brain is exhausting. It's like looking at a comic book multiverse with how many different variants there are of any one person. I feel like my brain is liable to combust into uncooked taco meat at any second with all the information it's taken in while writing this video. If the National Library of Congress has any openings for new organizers to handle the inflow of information there, I would like to personally nominate the team behind the Dream Team fandom wiki. They are somehow able to differentiate between so much similar shit, where me just reading it makes my eyes turn into raspberries. Actually, scratch that. I want these motherfuckers on my personal research team. I want to snatch them up for the private sector before the FBI or some other federal institution can get their grubby hands on them. I want to use them for my own nefarious purposes instead, most of which will just come back down to me making fun of people on the internet to make money. I think the best way to ease you into the majority of this fandom wiki's contents is by not doing that at all. Instead, I'm just going to bodily throw you into the deep end and hold your head under until the last possible second before you drown, you'll have, like, a brief outline of what God looks like by the time we're done. You'll, you're gonna be that close to death, promise. For example, of the weirdness involved, the Dream SMP timeline is split into multiple eras, and the first two are BT and AT. That's before Tommy and after Tommy. They have split the history of this Minecraft roleplay server with historical abbreviations that invoke Tommy in it in the image of Jesus Christ. It's like the Meat Canyon video, where that literally happens. <laughs> and I mean, it kind of fits, too. The story and lore-oriented 
direction the server took really only came about when Tommy joined and broke every established rule in favor of doing whatever the fuck he wanted. In the same way that Jesus changed the course of human history, Tommy changed the course of Dream SMP history by being a little shit. If Dream's the Father Almighty, Tommy is the Son, and the Holy Spirit is probably like Wilbur or Tubbo or something, I didn't really think this metaphor all the way through, if I'm being honest. It just sounded funny in my head, and that's usually enough for it to make it into my scripts. Standards are not high on this channel. And the more I look at this timeline, though, the more and more it reminds me of the real course of human history. We're in AD in the real world right now, which is just barely 2,000 years old at this point. There are tens of thousands of years of history before that that we just gloss over. Like, we don't talk about that shit at all beyond, like, one unit. And if you look at the Dream SMP timeline, almost all of the events take place in the latter half. There is just a year's worth of history that is barely documented. There's even an equivalent of the Fall of Rome, where everything just starts to go off the rails. Looking at this diagram must be how the first people to ever write history down must have felt. I feel like I'm getting to relive the thought process of the first dudes to ever think, hey, that shit just happened, let's write it down so people don't forget that that shit happened. Of course, this is just an overview of the Dream SMP, and the devil is in the details. The moments that last the longest are usually just that. Moments. Single instances where the course of history was changed forever. The issue is, is that there is just so fucking much. I've touched on this in my Dream SMP video essay, but the amount of lore that comes with this ridiculous crossover series is because of how many streamers there are all doing their own thing. The Dream SMP has only been around for a few years and has been only doing this story-focused stuff after Tommy joined. And even with how relatively short an amount of time it's been around, as a result, there's more content to dissect than in all of Star Wars. And I mean all of it. Let me just pick a random funny-sounding event name off the timeline so we can get the play-by-play. -play. There is no way I will narrow this down with some kind of analysis or process, so I'm just gonna pick one that sounds funny. Ah, fun guy death will work. I definitely didn't choose that one because it's what I would call somebody getting athlete's foot that spreads to their whole body and dying a gruesome, painful death from it. Fun guy was actually the name of Nikki's fox, and fun guy's death was the inciting incident of the first pet war. I just dropped like three new terms on you, at least out of nowhere. There was no way you could have caught all that, and that's exactly how my world history teacher would have wanted me to do it. Fun guy was murdered accidentally by another player, Sapnap, and the fox was apparently killed by continuously firing shots with his bow right next to the fox as a game. On the fish shot, he accidentally shot and killed Fun Guy, and on the same day, he also killed Harold, Tommy's cow, thinking it was a random cow. It sounds like it was a callous disregard for life in general that caused Sapnap to act. And I imagine at the time that he thought nothing of his actions, that what he was doing was just a bit of fun and it would be an isolated incident. And it's in that line of thinking we can see the parallels to the First World War. Namely, the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand, where after his death sent two nations into conflict, a complex web of alliances forced the majority of the Western world into war with each other at one point or another. A similar domino effect can be observed in the pet war, as more and more players got involved. Fundy was angry on Nikki's behalf as her ally, and killed Sapnap's fox in retaliation. But Fundy didn't stop there, further escalating the conflict until more major players were brought into the fray, and the only thing either side got was more fatalities and a whole lot of Twitch subs. There were no real winners, but their wallets, and also indirectly Jeff Bezos. But just like Sapnap's actions didn't exist in a vacuum, neither did this war. It had server-wide consequences, and there's even an analysis section on this wiki page so that we can better understand the ramifications of this particularly Fox-centric bloodbath. Please let me read you an excerpt so you can better understand how the loss affected those involved or whatever. Both sides were arguably in the wrong throughout the course of the war. On the surface, Sapnap was the main antagonist, as he killed the most pets, which sparked the war. However, Fundy was in the wrong as well, as he escalated a conflict after it had died down by having Nikki kill Skechers, declaring war on puns after killing his bee and lying to his own allies in the bee game. Nikki and puns were probably the most innocent of the main characters in the war as they were both dragged into it by Fundy. That really is a powerful piece of writing that manages to capture the dubious morality of war on all sides. In all-out conflict, there truly are no heroes, only the dead and their killers. And predictably, the cycle of violence continued, because despite the tentative peace brokered after one side loss, just like in our world, it was not made to last as a second pet war happened not long after. Of course, ancient history like this is only known to us because people kept accounts of it. And if we pretend that stream VODs don't exist for a little bit, we can pretend that the only documentation that exists is the stuff that the characters have written in-game. And let me tell you, there is a 10th grade English class's worth of reading material to go through of in-server books on the Dream SMP already. I fucking hate my job. All of these books have been transcribed to text for the convenience of someone like me who wants to copy and paste their contents into a video script. I have no idea how somebody has the free time 
time or the attention span for this, and these works really do capture the full breadth of the human condition. From the ramblings of a madman, which is basically anything that Tommy writes, from the pen of Tommy in it, history is happening, history is here, history is happening, this is a poem. Balcony. We are stood on a balcony. Bald people. They just aren't good. Politics. All I want to do is create more police. Policy. Politic. Policy. That was a passage from the document Pog Policies. Now, obviously, what I'm showing you here from this site for the last eight or nine minutes has been a whole lot of schlock, but I feel like this fandom page is something of a hidden resource for dream stands and dream antis alike. If anybody ever wanted to make an argument for how single-mindedly devoted and obsessed they think dream stands can be to him and what he does, this wiki would be your best shot at proof. This is immortalized written evidence of the amount of time fans will put towards something they love. If you made this site and submitted it as proof of your commitment to something on a college application, you would get the fuck in. The amount of content here borderlines on obscene. I don't think a man locked in an insane asylum could fit this amount of info contained on this wiki within the scribbles he makes on his walls. I have talked about people passionately dedicated to dream content all the time, but the dudes behind this website are easily the peak form of whatever that niche of people is. But despite my efforts to give you a formal education on the dedication of dream SMP historians, the story stands, there was no way you would get a comprehensive view of the world of the dream SMP SMP, unless I made this bitch a docuseries with eight one-hour-long episodes with a follow-up season on the horizon, depending on how well-received it was. Because of that, I'm gonna wrap this up here. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe with notifications on, or I'll see to it that your bloodline is not just ended with you, but erased completely from history. Remember, don't go after anyone I talked about in today's video. It's basically a waste of time, and you look like a very specific kind of goofball when you go on the internet and do all that shit. You can follow me on twitch.tv slash quite, where I stream on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Subscribe Subscribe to my second channel, Quote, where I post stream highlights. Join my Discord server, discord.gg slash quite, and follow me on Twitter, at quite. Anyways, this has been quite, and I am dead.